filter black on. Yo, what up, YouTube and Facebook world? This is your boy Kevo from Talk To Me Podcast. I need y'all to hit that like button, that subscribe button, hit that bell for future notifications for content. I got a legend in the studio tonight with me, y'all. Ken Lowe, what y'all know about that? He's the creator of Hustler State. He's the creator of Players University. He's the creator of Ohio Girls Rock Gear. Much, much more. He's been on tour with Too Short and many other tours. Coming to a place near you, he traveled the world, and we could go on and on about this guy. What's been up, Mr. Kenlo? What's up, sir? How you been? You been okay? Yeah, I appreciate you. Man. All right. Had to catch you, you know, while you be in and out of the city. Thanks for coming. You know, we just want to thing, man, interview of, I'm trying to get people to know what come out of Dayton, Ohio, you know. You know, we got plenty of talent, plenty of athletes, you know, entrepreneurs such as yourself, you know. So just want to do a little quick interview while you're in the city, man, and just ask you some questions on, you know, how did you how did you get inspired to start making clothing apparel to get people to wear your stuff? Well, it started in college. You know, so I was uh, attending Ohio University. That's where I went to college. Okay. My dad told me to quit big. So he told me to start, start selling some t-shirts. Big Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my dad told me, uh, son, why don't you start uh, getting into some t-shirts? So from there, I started doing it on campus locally. Uh, got involved with some student organization. I'm a member of Capital Alpha Psi, so oh, okay. I started doing it with my flat. You know, I'm doing it for other group organizations on the campus. It kind of took off for me. Oh, okay. Was it, uh, did it just jump off or was it stressful at the beginning? No, no, it was cool. You know, I was young, man. You know what I'm saying? I was in college on campus and, uh, you know, dealing with the student organization. So I went up to the local clinic, uh, pretty much took his business. Oh, okay. Because, you know, he was somewhere local brick and mortar and okay. I was roaming around on the yard. Oh, so okay. I could go to the student organization and knock on their dorm rooms or, you know, come to the thing where you had to go up there and see them. So, I kind of short stop with them and got together and kind of worked together. Oh, okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? So it was a little cool. smooth. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Uh, what route did you go to get the community to get behind you to start rocking the weird? You know? Well, that, that, that pretty much started when I graduated from college. Okay. Uh, when I graduated from OU, uh, summer, we went to Virginia Beach. And back then, Virginia Beach used to be like Freaknik for the East Coast. Everybody was going on there. So yeah, I remember the free man. Back then, when I was selling shirts, they was politically inspired. Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King. You know, it was wow. real positive. Wow. So that's when I started that down there. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you ever think people would be wearing your gear nationwide? Like, was that the outlook you had for it? Or was it just. Well, when I created the brand, like I said, I started off doing the positive stuff. And from there, transcended into. Players University, Hustler State, another little uh, brand that I was trying to develop. Uh, I wanted to give all my cats who did had the privilege of attending college like I did to make up a fictional university. So that's how Players University, Hustler State came about. That's how it came about. Uh, okay. How surprised was you um, like to be eligible to get it distributed when it was in Foot Locker? Because, you know, people been in the malls like, being foot locker now, you know, how was you surprised it? Or yeah, that was just hard work. I mean, yeah, it, it was. I mean, yeah, it. Yeah. I mean that, that came through God's blessing, you know what okay. I mean? Uh, a lot of hard work because I got a lot of doors shut on me trying to get it in because the sure. University wasn't originally meant to be first, it was supposed to be Hustler State. So, exactly. what I did, I came out with Players University where I was getting trademarked for Hustler, Hustler State. And a uh, gentleman from here, uh, Kevin Rucker, he was a manager. Locker. So I got it in his hands and uh, we presented it to him. We sent him, presented it to Hustler State. They said no, because at that time the word hustler meant drug dealer. Drug dealer. You know what wow. I'm saying? Now the meaning has changed. It's way more diverse. You got commercials. I got you. you know, hustle is a more more trending word now. It's yes. more acceptable and they looked at as negative. Whoa. That's good, smart thinking. <laughs> so, uh, how did you link with Too Short? I remember we came, me and Durham, we came down there in Atlanta. It's probably like 93. And, you know, we came to see you and the Hustler down there, one of the Hustler's clubs. And and you you was linked and traveling with Too Short at this time when we ran into y'all in Atlanta. 
how did that come about? I, you know, all my links have really been through people here. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I tell everybody this story was Tommy Owens. Okay, you Tommy, know, Tommy O. Yeah, Tommy O. I call him Dick Al Sharp. But yes, was, sir. Uh, uh, Tommy Owens introduced me to him. We went to Detroit. Short man was doing the show. Tommy asked me, did I want to ride? Bring some gear. And, you know, he, he's going to introduce me to him. So uh, Tommy Owens introduced me to Too Short and Ramon, which is Ramon Dancing, which was Short's manager at the time, road manager. And, uh, later, me and him became, we still good friends. That's, that's one of my best friends to this day. So Tommy uh, introduced me to, to Ramon. Ramon introduced me to Short. And Tommy introduced me to Short. Short said, man, I'm shooting video next week. What video was that? It, didn't, uh, it, it was for Ant Banks. Okay, for Banks. It was for Ant Banks. So he said, and then his, he was shooting a video for Pay Styles right after that. Uh, you know what I mean? So I went down there, and uh, that's how the relationship took off. Oh, it was from uh, Tommy Owens. Big up to Tommy Owens. Big up T.O. T.O. Okay. What's uh, Any memories you got on the road? From, like, I know you ran across plenty haters trying to sell your gear on the tour. You know, what, what's a memory that, that was people like, Digging it, or some was mostly well, you mad. Know, it was, so, see, we was rolling with short. And, exactly. You know, short all good at, at that time. Embodied the word for being a player. Exactly. You know, nobody else was really out here spitting lyrically on his songs about being a player the way short was. You know what I'm saying? You had pimp, pimping. You had the boys out of Chicago. Uh, what was it called? Pimp or die or whatever. Who was do or die? Do or die. Yeah, the song. Who was pimping? Yeah, Pope pimping. Yeah. yeah. So them cats, they was talking. And of course, Ice T and you know Big Daddy Kane, they would spit a little pimp. But playerism, short was on that big. Exactly. So when we went out there, it was cool. And then uh, Big Mike, you know, we was out. We went out on a platinum tour with Short, Scarface, Big Mike from Convicts. Yeah, Big Mike. Boys, Big yeah, Mike. Yeah, Big Mike. Uh, MC8, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Somebody else. It was a platinum players tour. So wow. Short took me on the road. That's how I really started getting on the road. Me and Darren Burke. Then we heard, and him, he left, we left here, moved there together. Then, then. Wow. Big dog, 54. What would you do? Uh, one time, me and my mother years ago, we was watching TV. It was New York Undercover. An uh, actor had your shirt on. Players University. What would be your reaction if you was watching, when you was watching TV, and I'm pretty sure you've seen people, actors, you know, entrepreneurs wearing your shirts. What would that reaction be for you? It was cool because, you okay. know, I, at one time, I sat at my dad's bar on Gettysburg, and I was telling the cats, you know, as I was serving drinks, because I was a bartender for my dad. Yeah. Like, yeah, man, y'all don't see my stuff on TV. It was like, yeah, right, nigga. Just uh, give me a Hennessy and Cola, because you ain't on TV right now. Right yeah. Drinks. So, you know, when I seen it come into, I was just thankful, you know, and it, it just gave me the drive and inspiration that I could do, you know, to do more. Because I was independent. I didn't have no big fashion house. It was just me. You know, I come from the top of the trunk. That's, that's the generation I come from. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like people deal with the CDs. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it, it sure. made me feel like I accomplished something. You know? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because I remember, you know, I lived around the corner on Greenwich Village from the Daz Bar. And years ago, you know, you was a little older than me and my crew. And remember Stars Gas Station? We go to Stars one day, and we see you and your pops had just came to y'all, you know, to the business. And we seen you, I guess you wanted to go do something. This was you, we was younger. And you was like, little bloods, little bloods, come here. And you was like cleaning out around the dance, around the building. And you gave us all like $10 each to clean. I guess you had some runs to go make. Like, let me pay some guys and I'm gone. You paid us to do it, man. And we was young, you know, that was a lot to us. It meant something else. We was like, hey, who is that? They was like, that's Kilo. We was like, oh, okay. We was like, I just kind of seen you was going to be something because you was talking to us then. Yeah. What y'all doing? Where y'all going? You know, guiding us. You was trying to guide the neighborhood right yeah. you know, when we was younger growing up. I always was taught, man, you got to get back. You know, what I mean? and, you know, unfortunately for me, I didn't have nobody around here locally that I could go to you know what I mean? as a mentor. Uh, I later would have one, I take that back, in the clothing game. In the clothing business. You know, I had Lamar. Lamar, Lamar, I don't know what he called himself, but he was the only dude around here locally. He was doing a lot of pieces for Fashion Fair or every fashion show or whatever it was called. He was the man, but he wasn't into the urban. He was into the tour, you know, he was a designer. 
the more. And I think that's the quick break. It, it killed me for this, but now I apologize. <laughs> but that gentleman there gave me a lot of insight on cutting soul, things of that nature. But I didn't have nobody else to really tell me, like, okay, this is what you do and don't do, this, that, and the other. So when I came back, I always said that I was going to keep a business in the community because, you know, we need to see more of us. And you always say, so, yeah, yeah, real talk. It, it, it might be the gift and the curse sometimes, exactly. but for the most part, I, I always came back. Yes, sir. I always have good Speaking of when you always come back, when are we going to see another Players Ball, man? Yeah, yeah. Now, I was young going to the Players Ball, hanging with my brother Ease. I'm getting in, but I'm the youngest in there, me and Lil Doodle. We're yeah. the youngest in there. Yeah. yeah. When are we going to see another Players Ball? Two young players. Young Doodle was, he's been a player since he's about 11. Yeah. But you know, uh, I don't know. He was man. in there. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I don't know. Okay. I feel like we ought to play. Because, you know, around Thanksgiving, that's what everybody should talk about. Yeah. Ken yeah. Lowe's players ball coming. You know, it moved around. Wherever it moved to, you had a following. Yeah, you know? it was cool. And then I just went, you know, I knew you was busy and wasn't living here for many years. So we was like, but you was coming back, doing the players balls, doing little things for the community. It was big. Know. It was big. I, I don't know, man. My, my cousin, you know, they get on me. You know, I, I, listen, to be honest. You know, it ain't a lot of real players left. You know what I mean? I'm True. talking to one. We got to go keep scrambling to find help. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it's a lot of players out there. But, you know, it's time to change. And then it's a whole lot of events. It's around that time. It's a lot more competition. And then, you know, we already got older. So, really, I don't know. Exactly. Man. We just got to sit down and see if it's going to put it in the right place. You know, at the right time. we be nice, safe. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. They used to always be safe. Yeah, yeah. We never had no drama. Start. No, we never had no drama because you know people was acting like players. Women was out mm -hmm. dressing, dressed to the teeth, classy events. It was always cool, respectful. People looked forward, to, looked forward to the event. Yeah, they sure did year by year. Now it's very competitive. They sure is. Uh, uh, young Boomer, uh, he got an event. Uh, it does well, like a black tie event that he does. It's been very popular for the last. So it kind of reminds me of that because he got a great turnout, a great following. Yeah. You know? But my guy B White did them like they do the day parties. Oh, that's what yeah, they did. They do the day parties and things like that, you know. So yeah, we have to get talk to them. So it'd be Kenlo and friends or something. Get something going. Yeah. You know, bring that back to the city, you know. So um, how can how can people get in contact with you? What social sites you have for the for well and well, you know, so they can check you out, check your apparel out. Yeah, I'm on Facebook, you know, okay. and I really just be on there. Trying to be somewhat of an inspiration. What you do? You do that jokes from time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Social media platform is good too, but you know, like I said, I'm from a different generation. So of course I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram from time to time. But right now, what I'm looking to do is hire me some companies who can do that diligently every day, and get put up the content, so I can have you know the people engaged and drive them to the product. So right now it's just Players University, uh, Kimo at Players University on Instagram. Facebook is just how they came out. Okay. Uh, what, a, what advice would you have for the up and coming designers who you know want to follow in your footsteps? Just don't give up. You know, yeah. I mean, it was a lot of you know this town is small, man. So you know we got a lot of naysayers here because you know it's limited opportunity for all the people who had experienced some success to, to get out of here. It was a lot of people that doubt. Me. You just exactly. can't believe in can't, can't believe that. You people know? doubt you even when you make it. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's a lot of hatred here. You know what I'm saying? I call it hate no hire. <laughs> yeah, know, at, at times. But it's a lot of good people and a lot of loyal and supportive people here also. But you just can't let people detract you from your goals, your plans that you try. Stay on it. That's what I might advise to you. No Y'all hear that. Y'all hear that. You gotta stay on it, keep grinding. It'll, it'll come their way, won't it? Oh listen, man, this this town is, is, is some of the home of some of the best hustlers. When I say hustling, I don't mean it in a negative aspect. As far as entrepreneurial, just survival mode, getting money, creativity. Dayton, Ohio got some of the some of the best. You know, I'd have been everywhere, man. New York, LA, Chicago. I'd have been in Atlanta for 20 some years. But these people here, if they just think outside of Dayton, like this little young boy, Jason DBK, his movement is strong. Got my hustle. He, he's a he's a, he's a young animal. And I like what he's doing. The boy uh, B, the boy Kenny Red. You know, Coach Crowley, you can transition yeah, Coach from, to from, Kenny Red. from music to apparel. To apparel. Yeah, also. Oh, yeah. You know, talented dude, B. Uh, B movement is uh, it's coming along. Lil Joe with Ella, uh, Legendary Ad. We got heaters. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that I fail to mention, I, I apologize. 
to translate to my age. But it's a lot of talent. Everything got in the city. We just got to stick together more. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and, and it can be done. You know, everybody can look at Ken Lo. You can look at this man and see that it can be done. You know, just don't give up. You know. So thanks to the legend, we had to catch him while he was in town, y'all. Uh, I'm, listen, I'm gonna be here, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm 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 gonna be involved with event. This young lady, Tay Winston. Y'all not familiar with me? She had the food fashion mix food truck. It's one of the dopest events. This I heard season. about the food yeah, truck. Yeah, it was raw. You know what I mean? Yeah. Great turnout. You know, like with her? Yeah, I did. I did, I did it. She's doing another one on September the first. You know, planning to be a, a part of. You know, we just need more events like that to showcase. What we got you got a whole lot of talented people out here. Like she has her own business. Uh, she says hi, where you got a whole lot of this fine out the rules. My, my, my nephew, his daughter got a lemonade stand. So when we start these kids off early and they see that they can do it, and then they witness me do it, whether you know, come to me and ask me, I give all the advice in the world because so you don't make some of the mistakes that I've made. Exactly. You know what I mean? so, Okay, well, it thanks for the love. Uh, let me ask my engineer, do we got any questions um, over there, Mr. Will? No. Okay, Just see and make sure there weren't no questions. It's too hot to answer. You know me. Okay, okay, so thanks for the love, man. We just want people to see, you know, you was in town again, and you're going to be here. You got clean things up and coming this big. So thanks for the day love coming through. I appreciate it. All right, good luck, sir. Oh yeah, we're just definitely gonna be around here. Represent for each other. So all you gotta do is if you tag me. Oh shoot. Oh. <laughs> right. I thought it was stopped. It's done. Yeah, you just tag me. <laughs> 